What's today's date? Uh, the 11th. It is Thursday, October 14th. I just got home from work like two hours ago. I worked from 7.30 to 4.30. I leave next Saturday, no, I leave next Sunday for training and we are moving next week, Wednesday, I think. So I made my to-do list today. I kind of went down of like everything I need to get done before I leave for training. So I will only have Friday and Saturday like free days and I wanted to keep those open to like hang out with Evan before I leave. So right now it is like crunch time like every single day. I'm going to need to either be filming, editing, packing, getting flight attendant stuff ready. I did want to take care of some wedding planning stuff before I leave too because when I get to training I'm not doing any of that stuff. Like I am not worried about wedding stuff like I'm not worried about like my house and any of that like I want to be fully focused on passing training I wanted to give you guys some updates so yesterday I got a phone call from this like random number and usually I don't answer random numbers but because flight attendant training is coming up soon you get a lot of like phone calls from different recruiters and people that are doing your background check and stuff like that so I picked up the phone and it was a really nice lady from my airline and she basically told me that I passed my drug test, obviously. <laughs> so she told me I passed my drug test. And then she offered me to go to an earlier class to go to flight attendant training this Sunday. Yeah, that would be crazy. So I politely told her that I wasn't able to do the earlier training date and I asked her if I could please leave my training date for next Sunday. And she was so so nice about it and so understanding. I basically told her like I can't because we are moving and It would just be too much. She was completely understanding and she's like, yeah Moving is hard. You're gonna need time to move. So that is totally fine. Just wanted to give you that option I absolutely love my airline. Everybody that I've talked to is just so nice and so understanding like they get that we're people we have certain things going on in our lives and she was just so nice and understanding telling me that it's totally fine so we are keeping our original date we're not going to flight attendant training sooner and i also just feel really unprepared i still, I still have to go to the thrift store and like walmart to like run some last minute errands and get more training clothes and last minute things that i'm going to need for training I also want to add my last day of work is Monday, so that wouldn't have worked out because I still have to go to work Monday. I would have been leaving my nanny family empty-handed, and that's just not fair. So for good reasons, we're still going to keep the same training date, but it was just really nice that they called me personally and offered an early training date. I did try to go to the thrift store on base. That was a complete fail. I don't know what was up the hours. My nanny family have been so nice through this whole process and basically like told me that I can go to the thrift stores that are on base while I'm working and I can take my youngest nanny kid with me. And he's only one years old so it's kind of easy to like pick him up and, and go to these places. So I got him all packed up, we went to go to the thrift store to look for flight attendant training stuff and it was closed. So at this point I'm just on the weekend gonna go to Goodwill or if I can't find anything at thrift shops, I'm just gonna have to spend the extra money and go to like Walmart and Target and get my flight attendant training clothes because we are running out of time and I just need to find something and get my bag pack because I'm gonna be stressed out if I'm doing things last minute and I really wanna get it done like next week. Like, also you guys, I did purchase my shoes and I think I was like showing you guys on my computer like the different options that I wanted and whatnot. I wanted to pick out some flight attendant training shoes with you guys and take you guys along with me. I have been going back and forth. Right now I am on rockport.com. I've seen these shoes pop up a couple of times. I've not seen anybody recommend them yet, but they do look like compliant and they look very comfortable. I was looking at these and I love the pointed toe and like the block heel that's what I'm looking for something that has a pointed toe a block heel something that's comfortable I do like the patent leather look um, the shoes do have to be black and they do have to be a certain height of heel so I have to keep that in mind I have been trying to look for shoes 
for a couple weeks now and I just can't find anything either it is sold out in my size or not compliant or way too expensive I mean for me this is kind of expensive for a shoe I was hoping to find something cheaper but with everything that I want in the shoe I just cannot find everything that fits my needs so something is gonna have to give which I think the price is but I'm trying to think of it long term I do want a good quality shoe that's going to last me long term because not only am I gonna wear this for training but I'm also gonna wear it on the line and I want something that's going to be durable and comfortable so I think it's okay to splurge a little bit when it comes to the health of your foot and you're gonna be walking a lot and going different places and I just really like as you can see there's like this like padding in there it looks super comfortable and then it's got like this rubber sole so it's like non-slip I love that just because I'm clumsy <laughs> and then I really love that like block heel look I'm not good with skinnier heels or anything like that and I just think these also look really cute I would like to look cute but also save my feet from some pain so we are trying to fit those all in one I really do like these I'm just not sure because I want to get these in the flat style for my in-flight shoes and I feel like these are too similar to the in-flight shoes I don't know I'll show you guys tell me what you think I think I have the in-flight shoes in my cart so you can kind of see here I'm gonna show you guys like how similar they are so the in-flight shoes is the flat and then you have the heel and I really like the in-flight shoes so an in-flight shoe is when you are up in the air after a certain amount of time you're able to switch into like a flat it still has to have some sort of a heel but it's more of a flat more comfortable shoe and I definitely want to pack those just in case my feet hurt and I want to switch into some different shoes and I just love like that inner padding in there and I thought like these would even be cute like let's just say on a layover I forgot my shoes or something I could still pair these with like nice black pants and like a black shirt and wear these out if I happen to forget like to pack some cute shoes. That's what I was kind of looking for, something that's going to be multi-purpose, something that I can wear not only like during work but something I can also wear during my layovers. So I think I am going to go with this flat, I just don't know about what heel I'm going to choose. Now I got a couple packages from Amazon and Target. I bought a lot of my stuff for flight attendant training online because I know I would spend more money if I go in the store. Like if I go to Target, I'm going to spend more money. You guys feel me. Like the way they have everything set up and cute makes you want to buy stuff that you don't really need. So I told myself like, let me just buy the stuff I need from Target, have it delivered to me so I don't spend more money. Just shop online, have it delivered. Don't go in store if you're going to spend too much money. Because we have a budget. We're on a budget. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna start. Oh my god, why is it turning red? Is it gonna die? Don't kill me, it's gonna die. Look at guys, my camera died, but then I noticed my stress rash. I don't know why I get like this. Like, does anybody else get this? Is this anxiety? Like, am I just anxious because I'm filming? Like, why do I get that? I don't know. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with Target, and I don't even remember what I all ordered or what got delivered, so. We're just going to open it up together and be surprised together. Let's get our first reaction. Let's see what we feel about it. Ooh, I'm already excited! Okay. I know I get excited about the weird things, but I bought a new planner. And holy crap, it's actually bigger than I thought. Look at it. It's like bigger than my head. Um, okay, I bought a new planner because my planner is about to come to an end. In December and I wanted something that was going to be a little bit more longer like into the 2022 year and right now I have like a smaller planner and I didn't realize this one was so big but it was on sale and it does have like some months that I don't need this year but okay how do we feel about this being so big oh it was I don't know how do I feel about this being so huge holy crap this is like thick. She's a thick girl. Okay, thicky. <laughs> Anyways, oh my God, it's so cute though. It's white. I love white. So like, if you know me, I love white. I love black and I love gold and it has gold accents. Super cute. 
I actually am probably okay with this because I have so many separate notebooks for things and this can be used as one multi-purpose girl. You know we're multi-purpose, we're multi-purpose girlies, okay? We like to multi-purpose. Anyways, I wanted a separate planner for like YouTube content and like my work schedule and like to-do list and workouts, but I think we can get that all done in one, one and done. Anyways, oh my God, this is so cute, okay. Start each day with a grateful heart. I'm loving it already. Super cute. Oh, it has stickers. It has stickers. Oh my god. Okay, this stuff excites me. Like, I love writing things down and being all organized, doing to-do lists. Like, this is me. Oh my god, it's got stickers. Oh my god. It's even got like this, like, this month. Like, to plan in advance. It's got personal goals, health goals, work goals, financial goals. Oh my god, I love it. This this is me. This is me. I love it. It's got the month. Oh my gosh, and it's got like a this week's to-do list. Um, okay, I'm in love with this. This is totally worth it. I'm gonna link it down below if you guys want it. I want to say, it's funny like how different I act in some videos. Like some days I'm like super chill and some days I'm super hyper. The days that I'm hyper is the days I have coffee. Literally, I had two cups of coffee today and I had a cup of coffee right before I filmed this. So that's probably why I am so anxious in my But also, it's like natural hyperness because I'm like really excited for flight attendant training. So I just love like new positive things. And I also like always love like the going back to school and getting the supplies. Like I always love that moment and like that time in my life. It just made me feel like, oh my gosh, like this is a new school year. It's going to be so positive. We're going to have new goals. We're going to get like new school supplies. We're going to set up for success. This is how it feels. Like it literally feels like I'm going back to school and we're getting like all of our new back to school stuff. Oh my gosh, guys, it's got this big box. Oh, wait, why did I just see Amazon? We're on Target. Ah! Ah! <laughs> my God, I just love that I can be myself in front of you guys because you guys are like not all watching me but like I can be myself and I'm like this with Evan Evan knows like I'm the most weirdest person because I can act like my total self in front of Evan and he just loves it he thinks I'm so weird and hilarious I'm just loving the authentic vibes today because yes I'm a hyper girl I keep wanting to say but I, I don't want to cuss on this channel I want to keep it clean I want to keep it clean on this channel but I do cuss sometimes. Uh, I actually do cuss a little. Do you? <laughs> also, yeah. And I wanna say, okay, let me put you guys on. I literally got a huge, huge, I think I got like, I don't even know how much of these, of these lashes. Last year on TikTok, I can't even, I don't even remember who it was, what the girl's name was, but she recommended these pre-glued wispy eyelashes and ever since then i've been hooked i talked about this i think in my engagement get ready video and maybe in a different video but these are amazing it requires no glue for me i don't like eyelash glue i used to but it just it bothers my eyes no matter if i get like the sensitive kind or whatever it like literally burns and bothers my eyes and i can't take it when i found these these are so easy guys it literally says 15 seconds to apply and it's true like you, there's no fumbling of waiting for the glue to dry and like is it sticky literally you pop these on squeeze them and they're good to go and they don't fall off they're literally the adhesive is so sticky so you're gonna want to like make sure you apply it like good because otherwise you're just gonna like it's gonna be super sticky but I absolutely love these so I normally get my lashes done because it's so worth it the eyelash extensions worth it she's worth it she's amazing at what she does but i can't take her to flight attendant training and last lash appointment is sunday these aren't gonna last the whole time and i was debating if i wanted to do strip or not i wanted something that was going to be easy because i'm gonna be busy with training i'm not gonna want to worry about putting on fake eyelashes and waiting for that and this is easy and the most cost effective on amazon right now the price is insane like they used to be like I want to say like six or seven dollars and now on Amazon they're like 15 for one pair and it's probably because of TikTok that happens like when things go like famous on TikTok things will sell up fast or the prices will go up high I mean that's like the money maker when people recommend things to other people like instead of celebrities and stuff like regular normal people recommend things 
on TikTok, man, it's, it's gonna be sold out. So I just got enough to last me through training, just in case I need it. So I'm getting my lashes done this Sunday and they probably will last like four to five weeks. And then after that, I will just use these. I got these lips. These are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And I think I got this off of TikTok too. Or like a flight attendant, or I'm not sure, maybe a flight attendant YouTuber or TikTok. But I heard these have amazing reviews. They stay on for a very long time. They're lipsticks, they're matte, and I thought this would be perfect being a flight attendant and also a flight attendant training because I can just apply it maybe like once and then don't have to worry about it. It stays on. I got the red for the typical flight attendant red lip. I also did get um, lip liners too. Amazon has amazing reviews on these as well. It's like five stars, I think, or like four and a half. Tons of reviews. I'll even leave the picture here for you guys. All right, that is all I have for you guys. I will see you soon. I also wanted to show you guys my in-flight shoes, like the flat, like the more comfortable shoes you change into once you're up in the air. My in-flight shoes came yesterday, and remember I told you guys I wasn't really sure if they were gonna fit because I sized a half down and they were wide. But oh my god, you guys, I'm so obsessed. These are so worth it. Look how beautiful these are. Oh, they are so gorgeous. They're patent leather, they got a little heel. This is the one I tried on. And I remember I showed you guys, this thing is like literally a squishy, like it's already like a built-in squishy pad in there. And I wanna show you guys how freaking cute these are. They fit perfectly. So I sized a half down and then I did wide and they click. You hear that click guys? <laughs> They're so freaking cute. They have like a little heel. They are so, so comfortable. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I will leave these down below. And like I said, I wanted something that was gonna be cute that I can also wear like for leisure just in case I happen to forget my shoes on like a layover or something. These would be so freaking cute with like some black ripped jeans and like a black leather jacket or a black top. Today is Monday, October 18th. Yesterday was Sunday and I ran a couple of errands. I got my lashes done, my last lash appointment before I go to flight attendant training. And then I went to the thrift store in the Dollar Tree to pick up a couple of items for flight attendant training. And I wanted to show you guys today a haul and like some of the things that I picked up. The Dollar Tree was good. I met this man, the cashier, I told him I was going to flight attendant training and he literally was so excited for me and like so nice. Like the experiences I had yesterday going to shopping and the positive vibes for everything, literally woke up early, I got ready, I had my Starbucks apple crisp macchiato <laughs> and a sandwich, I was like jamming to music, I was getting my lashes done, took my time in the thrift store, I think it took like an hour and a half like going through every little item. It was a good day. But anyways, let me show you guys a couple of things I got. Um, we are gonna start with the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree. Mainly I wanted to go to the Dollar Tree to pick up like classroom staples, like supplies, classroom supplies, stuff like that. School supplies, I, I literally don't know. And stuff like that, because I feel like I wouldn't want to spend a lot of money on that type of thing because the Dollar Tree literally has everything. They have name brands, like why spend the extra money? So, I'll show you things I got. I might also bring more because I have some stuff here at home. And then also if I need anything else besides that, I can always run to the store that is close to the flight attendant training center. Okay, so I got this little notebook to write notes. I like to get everything in black. I think everything I got for flight attendant training is black. I like when everything matches, like that's just how I am. But I got this three subject notebook for notes. 
I got some sheet protectors to put in a binder. And now I don't even know if I got a binder. I wanted to get like a big binder and sheet protectors for any like important notes or anything that I'll have or like any important papers. Like I'm not sure if they're gonna be giving us handouts and whatnot. And then I got two different folders. This two pocket folder, just like a plain black folder to hold things in. And then I got this one. It had like, it's a two pack in one. So like another folder. Hopefully I like, I'm hoping to like organize different papers and different notes. I got some sticky notes, like this size to write little notes. I got this size. I got this little sticky note pad to write notes. And like this stuff is gonna be like put to use because whether or not I use this for training, I know I will lose, use it in my real life because I have a ton of notebooks, I have my big planner, like I'm gonna use it all. And then I got basic pencils, mechanical pencils to write notes, extra pack of that. White out, love white out if I make any mistakes. I think I have like pens and all that stuff here. And I might even have like extra note cards here, but I have these colored pens to write notes in different colors. Also, this is so cute, guys. I thought these were so cute. I probably should have got another pack. But these are like little gold paper clips with little tassels at the end. Like how freaking cute is that? Like I can't wait to organize like little notes with these. I don't know. I think when things are like colorful and organized and like this, it just makes me more motivated to like study. It makes it more like fun, I guess, like when things are boring, if I got like a bunch of colors and ways to organize, it keeps me more entertained, I guess. Helps me remember things. I got two packs of these, Clorox um, to go packs, which will be like perfect for like just throwing in my purse, like throwing like when I'm traveling and stuff and the Clorox brand. I got one of these, hopefully it works well, to put my hair up in a bun because we do have to wear hair up as a flight attendants. Ooh, I thought this was a really good little steal, guys. Look at this little mini mirror, and it was only a dollar. Like, like it's, this is so perfect for traveling. Like, it just, and then you could just put it in here or like a different box. And I thought I would get this just in case like my roommate is using the bathroom or we don't have another mirror and like I wanna sit down and get ready. Or I can use this like, long term like if I'm a flight attendant and I need to like get ready on the go or I need like a mirror. Okay next we're going to move on to the thrift items of stuff I got from Goodwill and you guys I scored here at Goodwill. I went to a couple of thrift stores actually trying to find attire for flight attendant training and for my airline you are required to wear a black bottom like black pants or black skirt and a white button up long sleeve or white button up short sleeve with the black flight attendant shoes that are in regulation. I was having a hard time finding a black bottom and the white button up because I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it because it's only being used for flight attendant training for seven weeks. We don't wear those as our uniforms. And for me, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on something that I'm only gonna wear for that period of time and that I wouldn't wear again, that would sit in my closet. So I really, really wanted to find something that was thrifted so that I could just reuse it and save some money. Almost, almost was like gonna give up and be like, you know what, just Amazon me a $30 shirt. Like that's a lot for one shirt, $30, like, mm -mm. Like, and we need that enough for seven weeks. I wasn't about to do that. Anyways, at this Goodwill, uh, it was like a new Goodwill. It was so organized, it was so clean, everybody was so nice. One thing I didn't like though was, I felt like it was expensive. I think I took some videos too, like, Brand new Forever 21 shoes, like usually they're like $20, right? They were $20 there at a thrift store at Goodwill. When are Forever 21 shoes at a thrift store like Goodwill, $19.99? $19.99, no. So I almost, after I seen these prices, I almost like walked out. I was like, what? But good thing I didn't because they had everything I needed. They had so many things, like I hit the jackpot, so. And little pro tip, Sundays and Mondays are 50% off on select tags. And I think it was like blue or green tags for 50% off. So little tip here, I actually found this in the men's section. So I went to the men's section and tried to look for like small and men's. And this fits me so perfectly. Usually men have more 
I feel like white button-ups than women do and they had a ton of like button-ups in the men's section so if you're going to flight attendant training and you need a nice white button-up definitely recommend going to the thrift stores but looking at the men's section depending on what size you are just size down so like I'm usually a medium in women so I looked for like a small in men's then I got this one super simple I think yeah this one has some stains I don't know if you guys can see I'm gonna try to get it out it was oh, these, this thrift store these goodwills don't have prices on it it's, I think it was just literally just like posted which was probably like $2.99 or $3.99 that's like something that's good about this another just plain white one another plain white one this one was this one's more like high quality kind of like more of a short sleeve but as soon as I like um, wash all of these I will do oh, there's a stain I just realized there's a stain but it's okay girl we're gonna get it out like it's fine it's fine right it's fine everything's fine I got this otherwise we have like a jacket that we're wearing so I'm not like too worried about it it would be hidden with the jacket also got this basic white t-shirt I don't have a basic white tee so I feel like everybody needs a basic white tee and then also like just to like wear a tee under these shirts would be really nice just in case it's see-through this one's a steel guy so this was only eight dollars and I think okay normally forty dollars then it went down to eight dollars and then I think this red tag was like $3.99 brand new with tags how awesome and it's like a classic fit basic black pant which is gonna look super cute with heels it's super nice it's, oh this is a skirt it's just a plain black skirt this was also red so it's probably like $3.99 super good shape and then I think it was green tag that was 50% off if it was green tag guys I got a lot of green tag items and then I got these same like a dress pant type thing I did order one button up and one skirt off of Amazon. I figured if I had around four of each, I should be good. I'm planning to wear each piece twice and hopefully it doesn't get too dirty and then do my laundry once a week. That's what I'm hoping, that's my plan. Like we're in training, we're not there to be cute. We're not there to like show off and impress people. Like I don't care if I wear my outfits over and over again. I'm trying to save money, I'm trying to be affordable. Okay, I'm trying to pass training, I'm not worried about my outfits, okay? I just wanna follow the rules, get in and get out and do my thing. Today is my last day, guys. My last day before I see my nanny family before I leave. I'm a little emotional, but I got them each cute little books and I'm writing a note inside for them. And then I gave them each a picture of both of us as my goodbye gift and I really hope they like it. They're very sweet books with a little personal message. I'm probably gonna cry. Mm-hmm. <laughs>